Hi, my name is Kevin Owen. This is Destiny Ramsey. That's Jack Smith. And something we see regularly are people who are uh, frustrated with their parents' personality disorders. Uh, Jack, you're supposed to love your parents. You're supposed to honor your parents. What in the world do we do if they, uh, they might be a little bit more than difficult? <laughs> well, good thing that's there on a caveat at the end of that verse that says honor your parents if they're awesome um, honoring our parents is an attitude honor is an attitude that's what it is we're supposed to obey which is obviously um, listening and, and doing what our parents tell us to do especially if we're minors or, or we're under their, their authority at that point um, now obviously if that crosses over and, and, and goes against what the word of God says God always comes first but if they're not going against the Bible and having us do things that are hurting us or harming us or abusing us, we're supposed to obey and we're supposed to honor. Uh, having a good attitude doesn't mean we're going to like it, um, but we can learn a lot from not only what our parents do right, but what they do wrong. What they do wrong. You know, there's another thing that we can do, and this video is assuming that we're talking to an adult. If you're a child and you're under your parents' roof and you're there, uh, what you do with your parents' personality disorder is learn to play the game and become autonomous yes. so that you're not dependent upon them. Now, if you are an adult uh, and your parents have uh, a, a pathological level of difficulty, uh, what we would also say is learn to set boundaries. Whenever I, uh, when I go to buy a car, I don't ask the dealer what he thinks I can afford. No, I walk in and I know what I can afford. I know what I want my payment to be or what I want the total to be. And I pick out what I would do there. If I'm gonna go see people that I believe are going to want more than I have to offer, I lay out what I'm willing to give them and then I cut them off. Uh, you can do so lovingly, but not doing so, uh, well, that just puts everybody in a bad situation. It's also important to know that not everybody is like your parents. If your parents are difficult, not everybody is going to be difficult and you don't have to react the same way as them and you don't have to react to them as the way you would your parents. It's you're your own person and you get to choose who you're gonna be, whether that's like them or whether that's not. When my, uh, my mom used to talk about her upbringing and uh, she, she referenced that there were times when her parents were considerably less than kind and she grew up to be one of the most kind people that I've ever known, very intentionally so, seeking out places to be kind. What Jack said earlier about learning from the wrong example is a very valid thing. You can see the kind of person you wanna be in your parents and you can see the kind of person you don't want to be and who you become, especially since we're talking to adults, it's up to you. Absolutely, and you know, we're not forced or obligated. It's not our duty to um, be BFFs with our parents for the rest of our lives. It's, I mean, again, honor your parents, you know, and, but, but like we talked about earlier, setting boundaries, that's how it should be with every relationship. If somebody's toxic or somebody's causing you problems, it's, it's again, if, even if it's your parents, it's not your obligation then to put yourself in that, that fire all the time. Set boundaries, and if they don't want to abide by those boundaries, that's, it's a tough call, but you have to make it. Parental, oh, no, go ahead. Uh, it's also important to remember that, that in setting boundaries, you're showing them love and showing them how you, they can love you better. You need to be able to get to a place where you can say, the Lord loves you and I love you, and this is how it's supposed to look. Sometimes, uh, even as adults, we have to learn lessons that we don't always get our way. And the harder people push, the harder that these explosions happen, the more likely distance in the relationship is to begin. So, uh, so as you set those boundaries, what you're doing is you're creating a, a new system in which you can have a relationship with them. And uh, that's, that's an important thing to do. Now, parental dynamics is not uncommon in the counseling world, as Freud would reference. It's probably your mother. Um, if you want to learn how to better navigate uh, parental dynamics, uh, well, a little counseling sometimes helps a lot. And I know some counselors, if you'd like some help.